Hello soulmates. My name is Melissa and I just want to say thank you to each and everyone who has already subscribed to this my sewing channel. You are welcome those who are just joining and today I would like to show you how I drop my princess dart. Okay, so there are, there are two types of princess dart. There's the modified one where you will have to take in consideration your underbust measurement. But today I'll be showing you how to draft the regular princess dart. So a princess dart is a dart that goes from your armhole to your waist and is connected to your waist or sometimes it goes from your shoulder to your waist. Tonight I'll be showing you how to draft the one from your armhole to your waist. So let's get started. So here I have my pattern paper and this is the front. We're going to work on the front and then we're going to work on the back of the pattern. So here I have some lines drawn and from, so this would be my shoulder line. Right here would be my shoulder line. This is going to be my chest line. This is my bust point. And this is my waist line. And this is just extra seam allowance. So I'm just going to show you how to draft from your shoulder to your waist. Now this pattern can be used when you're sewing like a circle dress or a peplum top. So I'm gonna show you how to get the princess start. So let's get started. Okay, so here at my shoulder, if you haven't checked out my basic bodies, go ahead and do so, because we'll be using some techniques from that to, to solve this. So here at my shoulder, I'm gonna input, input my standard measurement, three inches, eight inches. So here, three inch, eight inches, and I'm gonna go down one inch. Then I'm going to connect this line here. And I'm gonna input my armhole from my chest line, that's eight inches. I'm gonna connect. This you should have um, been able to do already because I have a pattern how to derive your armhole if you haven't checked it out I'll put the link in the description box so that you'll understand exactly what I'm doing so what I'm doing now is that I'm finding the midpoint of my armhole and I'm going in three quarter of an inch and I'm going to connect my measurements here Okay. Okay. Connecting that measurement from there to here. Okay, so that's the front. That's the front arm hole. Okay, so now you're going to need your bus point to bus point measurement. That's your nipple to nipple measurement. Mine is four, but I'm going to add half an inch for seam allowance. So that's four and a half. And I'm going to put the same measurement here at my bust point line. And I'm going to make a straight line here. Okay. So now you're going to put your your bust measurement at your chest line. So here my bust is 42. A quarter of 42 is 10.5, right? And I'm gonna add ease, so that's 11. So what you're going to do at your armhole, you're going to find the midpoint of this armhole here, right? You're going to find the midpoint. All right, so that's ten and a half. Half of ten and a half is eleven. 
5.25 so you're going to find 5.25 that's here okay go down half an inch from there and you're going to connect this to your bust point like this okay so that you're connecting that from the armhole this half an inch that you came down from the midpoint to the bust point here so now you're going to input your dart measurement so at my armhole I want a two inch dart so I'm gonna take one inch here and I'm gonna take one inch here also I'm going to go up from my bus point one inch right and I'm going to connect that here like this okay when you do that you're going to input put the darts at your waist so I'm going to take a one inch dart on both sides also I'm going to take one inch here one inch here and I'm going to come down from my bus point one inch because I want to ease that area and I'm going to connect that one inch you can take whatever dart you want to take it doesn't matter um, you could take half an inch on both sides or three quarters of an inch here now I'm going to use my armhole curve and I'm going to curve this area right here because you don't want it to be pointy or you don't want it to, to be too sharp if that happens then your dart is not going to look so very nice so curve it up curve up those areas right curve them up so here you'll see that your princess dart has been formed so what you're going to do now is that you're going to go up at this point you're going to extend this line two inches because here we have two inch dart we have one inch here and we have another inch here so that's two inches if you do not extend this line by two inches you're going to find that when you sew your panels together it's going to be short it's going to be short so you have to extend this line two inches and then then you're going to retrace this armhole right here retrace it right so that's your new armhole measurement so there your princess dart is formed so easy easy as that now you're going to put your measurements so in this case my bust as i said is 42 i had it half an inch allowance but if you're drafting on your fabric you're remember you're going to cut this out right you're going to cut out these darts so you have to replace them at this over here you have to replace it because you borrowed two inches two inches here you have to put it back so I'm going to add these two inches here for the dart right plus if you're drafting on your fabric you're going to need one inch to sew it together half an inch here half an inch here to sew it together so you have to add one more inch plus you need one more inch to sew for side side seam allowance so in all that's going to be four inches so now go to your waist okay so my waist is 34 okay so 34 divided by 4 is going to be 8.5 plus 2 inches would be 10.5 plus 1 inch to sew it together that's 11.5 plus the 1 inch seam allowance so that's 
plus one more inch to sew it together. And then you're going to connect that point. And there you have it guys, that's the front of your princess dart. So when you're, you're done with the princess dart, now you're going to go to this neckline. Now you can do whatever neckline you want. I'm just going to do four by four inches. So this is four. So I have three here. And this one makes four, okay? And then I'm going to go down four inches for the neck there. And I'm going to connect like so, okay? Now I'm going to add my seam allowance. My seam allowance of half an inch, half an inch. So now I'm going to connect that, that my seam allowance. And that is it guys. This is your princess star. This is one panel. This is the other. So now we're going to cut that out. Be careful when you're cutting. You cut along this line right here, okay? This is the front panel, see? Yes, this is it, guys. Hope you can see this very well. This is the front of your panel. I'm sorry, the fan was going. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you how to drop the back of the princess start so here is the back part of the, the princess start this is gonna be so easy so I don't want the back to have a princess start you can go ahead and do that um, so I'm gonna do my three inch eight inches standard so three inches eight inches I'm gonna come down by one inch I'm gonna connect okay if you don't know to draft this this is just the basic um, back that I did in my pattern this is from my shoulder to my my chest line and my shoulder to my waist okay so now you're going to take your shoulder measurement minus eight that includes seam allowance and you're going to connect that here eight inches okay I should have told you here you notice I left my zipper launch my one inch zipper allowance guys remember to always go back and check my previous video because I showed you how to do this part of it and I'm gonna take my Okay. and I'm 
going to connect it here. Okay. There you go. So I'm just going to impute my So here you have my bust measurement and I'm adding one inch to sew it together. And at my waist, I'm going to impute my dart. So I'm gonna take my bust point to bust point measurement. That's four. It's a lot of firecracker tonight. Okay, I'm gonna draw my line there. Then what you're going to do now is that you're going to impute your dart measurement. Okay, you're gonna go down one inch. You're going to connect. This line here. So that's it guys, so easy. If you want a princess dart at the back, let me just show you how that's done. You're going to, if you want, you could start it from the midpoint, okay? And you're going to connect from the midpoint, right? Or if you wanna find the midpoint of this line and go down, that's okay also, but it's fine for me there. But you're not going to take a dart here, okay? All you have to do is to go up half an inch, right? To avoid any complications. And then you're going to connect your new line here okay so remember if you're going to let me just make my curve so you have to curve it okay you can have to curve it so you could give it a nice little curve like this okay so remember that you're going to cut this out so you have to add that one inch back to this measurement so let me just go over that so now my bust is 10.5 and half an inch for seam allowance that's 11 right so now I have to add one inch right to sew it back together and I have to add another inch for seam allowance okay so that's that's for that now for the waist for the waist my waist is 34 and half of that is 8.5 that's here this one inch dart will come out 9.5 and i need one inch to sew it together 10.5 right plus one inch to for side seam allowance. So let me go again. My waist is 8.5. Plus this one inch dart would be 9.5. Plus one inch to sew it together, 10.5. Plus the side seam allowance, 11.5. So that's what I have here. Ensure that you get the measurements correct before you cut especially if you are working on your pattern okay so four inches would be there so you three plus one four and I'm gonna come down by one inch and I'm gonna connect add your half an inch seam allowance Connect those and guys remember to cut out your zipper allowance there's something important I want to show you here remember I showed you when I was making that skirt pattern that dress always come in like a half an inch right it area right so connect from there to 
this point somewhere here right so half an inch from there would be here okay and you're going to connect that to that point about here so it helps with the bulging so you're going to cut this out guys there you have it that's your princess dart at the back all right there you go when you sew it together it will fit right 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 because the curve sometimes when you sew curves it takes a while so that's the back and this is the front so I hope you find this tutorial helpful if you did give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe like and share so I'll see you guys in my next one bye